Hello, friends. Um, I had a couple of uh, comments sent to me um, in regards to the Nivec Flip and Fill water bottles. Uh, this person had made uh, a complaint that she had bought, purchased the, uh, the water bottles from uh, the guy that I deal with in Ontario, Grand, Grandview Rabbit, Rabbitry, and uh, Brian there. And she said she had problems with them leaking. Now, to be honest with you, these do have a tendency to leak when they're new. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm mostly probably because the O-rings haven't quite seated yet. But they will leak. So you have to keep an eye on them and you have to keep them full. Eventually they stop leaking. You can see from the bottles that I have here, these are quite, quite well loved. I mean, they're used up. The nipple nozzle is uh, wore down way back from the teeth. And, uh, yeah. So, they are, uh, they are definitely used. So, what I wanted to talk, another thing about it, was if you read the uh, cleaning and care part on there, it says, wash bottle periodically with a brush and mild soapy water. Rinse thoroughly to avoid algae. Keep out of direct sunlight. Remove any algae with a mild bleach solution. Okay, let's break that down. Now, you can use the brush. Here is said brush, baby bottle brush, available at any dollar store, uh, Dollar General in the United States, uh, Dollarama in Canada. Um, very cheap, very inexpensive. Uh, so what I do is brush them out. These, depending on where you live and your water quality, and I and I mean and I say that lightly because city water, if you're in the city, you normally is chlorinated, and it won't grow belt algae. Uh, well water, which is what we're on now, will support the growth of algae because there's no chlorine in it. So, um, when you you're gonna have to you're gonna get uh, algae clogs in the nozzle, and it will stop the water. So what I like to do is I use compressed air. Now you don't have to. You can take apart the uh, you can pull the nipple out with a pair of pliers, take it apart. I've showed that in another video. And then clean out the components individually. What I try to do is use apple cider vinegar in the water to reduce the amount of algae growth. Now that's anecdotal. And I haven't found any supporting documentation to, uh, to say otherwise. And what I do is I mix the water up in, with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. It normally, you'll hear it online as ACV to one gallon of water. Um, and then I'll put the water in. In the in the bottles now getting back to the cleaning part the only thing that i don't agree with is that line right there mild soapy water i do not use soap um because the soaps that you get i mean the first thing you're going to think of is dish detergent dish detergents have a um a uh a, um usually they have some scent in them into them and the scent that they put in there is done with oil an oil-based scent and it's emulsified in the, in the soap so you don't see it now myself having drink drinking from uh plastic uh travel mug stuff like that you can taste the scent and it's disgusting and i don't want to give that to my animals um and i won't give them to my animals uh plastic will absorb that that scent that taste and it takes a long time to get rid of it um, and heavy heavy doses of vinegar will usually get it out so just avoid it all together don't use mild soapy water you can use bleach now i have strong background in food industry bleach is fine you can use a solution of uh, water and bleach to do your sterilizing and cleaning it'll do a good job you can rinse it out the, the, any residue that's left over will not harm the animal whatsoever sodium hypochlorite is uh it's it is considered a safe product to use and it's used heavily in disinfecting so so again um all i do is uh go inside there i'm doing this one-handed so i'm not really showing you exactly and then you know you just swab this around make sure you get into the corners you can see the brush getting into the corners knocking all that crap loose the slide 
and you keep going up and down do under the rim up in this area here do all that rinse it out with with clean water fill it up and you're good to go i'll use compressed air to blow out my uh my drinking nipple and uh, that seems to work good for me so there you go flip and fill by nyvek um i'm gonna you know if i was to rate this on on amazon i'd give it a five four star four star for sure and in the explanation i'd say you know they do have a tendency to leak a wee bit when they're brand new um, that usually settles down and goes away uh, these bottles are three years old now and you can see from you know the you can see from the general condition that they are heavily used up and they're still working and i think they're around 10 bucks a bottle so I mean, I, I, I'd love to be able to supply these, but I just can't find, I haven't sat down and found the supplier yet because there's been lots of people around here that have been looking. Oh, secondly, winter time. Two bottles for each cage, swap them out twice a day, morning and night. That gives the animals plenty of time to drink up the water before it freezes. They will freeze, these will freeze solid. So don't, you don't have to fill them up to the top, just fill them up basically halfway, let them freeze and they'll be good. So anyway, like, subscribe, ring.